everyone. I, Ajay Dubedi, welcome you all this outstanding webinar, Discover Funneling and Million Dollar Results. So I would like to introduce myself first to our audience. I am CEO and founder of Propel Guru, and I am feeling immense pleasure to introduce the guest speaker of today's webinar with you all. And once again, we have Rene, the CEO and founder of IPB Limited with us. So Rene, I would like you to please pause the audience with your presence and tell us about your experience in your own world. Thank you so much, uh, AJ, for the introduction. I really appreciate that. Um, and um, I run the company called IPBLTD, which is the Institute, Institute for Personal Development and Body Language in London. And through the years, I experienced a lot of uh, challenges like every company. But one of the results that I gained was that somebody introduced me to funneling. And that's, in fact, the, the subject of today, isn't it? So, um, should we get started or? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, okay. yep, Rene. So we can get started. So now, before we uh, start the this, start discovering the million dollar funnel, I would like to take a few minutes to introduce Propel Guru quickly. Okay, so Propel Guru is a result driven based agency uh, with social media, SEO content, graphics, and PPC experts. Uh, we are a team of uh, digital transformation experts uh, who keep innovating and delivering. Today we will be discussing a lot about a million dollar funnel and discover the best practices for the conversions. Okay, so which is even like I would like to love to learn from Rene. So that will be an I, I hope that will be an amazing journey for all of us, all of our audience as well. So Rene, anytime you want to get started, go ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And thank you for the opportunity. Uh, it's a pleasure to work again with you uh, and the company Propel Guru. It's, a, it's an amazing experience. So I'll start sharing. Discover funneling and a million results. Welcome. So what is funneling? Funneling is a system where we put a lot of information on the top and a little bit of information comes on the bottom. However, this is sales. Now, what is funneling? So we're going to use social media. We're going to use emailing to attract people into our funneling system. From there on, people will be redirected to a landing page, a landing page with a lot of information where people can really take a decision and say, hey, this is interesting. Yeah, I want to know more. From that landing page, they get redirected to a sales page. And on that sales page, there's some videos, there are some buttons, there's some, some uh, vouchers that they can uh, uh, collect. There's all kinds of information and uh, uh, bonuses that they can have if they continue in this funneling. Now, the last part is that you're going to create some pain because people don't know really what's going on. And if you create that pain, however, you offer also the pleasure. In other words, you create the problem and, and it's good to, to create the problem. However, make sure you got a solution. And then the last, the very last part is the call to action and monetize people who are still in the funneling system. Now, I can uh, compare this with a, uh, an engine, a jet engine. And why do I do this? For ex uh, First of all, I used to be flying myself in the army, so I know about jet propulsion. Now, what happens when a jet engine? In the front, they will be letting air into a ventilation system with rotations. That air will be compressed there will be fuel added to it that is called the combustion and from there on it goes through the exhaust that is moving a plane forward and you might say isn't that the same system as a car almost however this is far more powerful that's why airplanes and jet and uh, jet planes use this kind of air propulsion jet engine so there's an intake compression combustion exhaust and that is how funneling works exactly exactly the same way right so why funneling? Now, as you can see, if I would turn up that engine, the other way around, you'll see that air comes in, there's fuel added, and there's energy. It's the same with your social media emailing. Make sure people get aware of you, that you are out there. Why is Coca-Cola in the desert of Ethiopia? Because they are there. It's as simple as that, right? So make sure you're on social media. I had a conversation with Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, three years ago in London backstage and, and he said um, how many social media platforms are you and I said why he says if you're not at least at 10 different social media platforms you don't have a reason of existence in this industry and I said don't worry I'm on 24 he says you're good I said thank you <laughs> so emailing super super important make sure you do some emailing 
And from there, the landing page, sales page, make sure to create the pain and the pleasure, the problem and the solution, and then a call to action that will eventually monetize the rest, the product that you have to offer to the people. How does that work in reality? This is a landing, this is a website. Now, this is my website. What you'll see in the middle, these beautiful hearts, is Valentine's on the 14th. What do I do? I attract people to this. And this is the beginning of funneling. People will say, hey, this is amazing. They'll click on it. The next step, number two, is that they arrive on a opt-in page. That opt-in page gives a very brief definition of what we're talking about. And they'll get so hungry because there's three bonuses, right? Two bonuses with information. And the third one, a money voucher. So they will say, hey, I want no more. However, they have to leave their name and their email address. And I will always use a green button. A green button button is action. So when they leave their information, they click action. What happens? They get redirected to the landing page, the sales page, landing page, sales page. So now on that page, there's videos, there's definitions far more in depth, right? Definitions, why this, what is body language, for example, the product that I sell. And then from there, number three, they get to the checkout page where you monitor. Times. So on the landing sales page number three, you will have a call to action. And it's on that page only that you can have that voucher, that you offer that voucher where they have to click on it. They get a code and with that code, they can check out on number four, which we call the checkout page. Does that make sense? So you have on your social media, you have posts where you offer, you have email you have your websites there's so much out there and you know what the funny part is it's all for free you don't have to pay for it as long as you don't go in the area of ads you don't have to pay and from there you have your opt-in page landing sales page checkout page money that's how you monetize products now funneling that's the system funneling works in practical in a practical way i do it this way as you can see here are you on top, right? You have an online training, for example, that's what I do. Now what happens is that I will organize a webinar. From that webinar, I will go, people, I'll, I will redirect people to an opt-in page, from the opt-in page to the landing page. Now, if people don't take any action at all, after one day, they get an email from me. And this is all automated. There's so many platforms out there. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna call, I'm not gonna mention any of them. There's so many platforms out there. And if you do that, now after one, if there's no action, after one day they get an email. So after one day, they get an email from me. And on that email, I will mention to them, hey, did you see we have that online training out there? How would that make you feel to become completely free? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If they don't take any action, because there's a green button again where they can click on. If they don't take any action after three days, there's another email. After seven days, another email. And it is known that in between three and seven follow-up emails, people take a decision. Now, let's say they take a decision. They go from the opt-in to the landing page, the checkout page. From there, there is a payment made. Now, the payment will go to your bank account, to the company's bank account. Now, if you have an affiliate program, which is connected to the platform where you work, that means people are helping you out, putting the message out there. That is an extra sales tool. And you give them a percentage of their sales. So what they create, what they will get from you is a personalized URL. And that personalized URL, if they share that, people that click on it will get redirected to your product, to the system to the opt-in page, to the landing page. However, that little code inside of that personalized, personalized URL will say to you in your system, hey, that person sells, did some sales for you if people buy something. Well, they have to have their commission. And again, this is automated. So, is funneling interesting? I bet you it's super interesting. That's why I call it funneling and a million dollar results. If you use that in a proper way and it's completely automated, you'll be surprised what funneling can do for you. If you are somewhere on the beach in Florida, enjoying a tea, a coffee, or water, whatever, and all of a sudden your bank account is growing through because of the funneling, wouldn't that be something you're into? I mean, I'm into it, Whoa. right? Yeah. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah, so 
This is funneling. Now in the funneling, what I, what I just showed you is that this is a product where people have a lifetime access to. Now once they're paid, they're done. There's no money coming in anymore. There's a second product that you can create and it's a membership. A membership to your community. And that membership is a monthly payment. And that is where the money is, right? So people join a gym, people join some hobby and they go monthly and they pay monthly for that. If they can join your community, your, your online training community and they pay for it monthly, that is where money comes in as well. It's, a, it's another channel of money coming in, right? Now, that's the system. Now, what is there to do for you is to make a list. Make a list of people, geographic positions and areas, types of businesses, customers, ages, Make sure that you know your competitors and their X factor. I'll show you that as well, the X factor. Now you have to realize you can't do business with everybody. Do realize you can't do business with everybody. Create a niche. Less is more. Specific niche. And a niche is not a field. A niche is something very specific. If you ask me, what are you doing on a daily basis? What are you teaching? And I say to you, personal development, you walk away from me. If I say I'm an expert in sales or I'm an expert in prospecting or I'm an expert in whatever, the people say, oh, that's interesting. I want to know more. So make sure you have a specific niche and define where you are in the cycle of business in life. Now, what is that X factor all about? Make sure to find out what your prospect's X factor is and make sure you know your X factor too and combine two forces in terms of the funneling. Now, use leadership, innovation, use creativity, marketing, sales, financial intelligence, there is optimization, time management, and make sure to put a number on it. From one to 10, what are you good at? And from one to 10, what is your ideal customer good at? And then combine forces, put them in the funneling system and make sure they get out on the bottom and they buy your uh, product. Right, now the last thing in that market is the market research. Know your market, know your competitors and don't just give a price. Make sure people get questions they you should ask them questions which questions i'll show you uh, after this slide where is my market situated what is my prospect who is my prospect who is my customer what sales format and or system should i use and what are the different sales processes within my market because if you have the funneling and people come out of that funneling right they are ready to buy but hey what are the sales processes afterwards how do you follow up now multiply yeses by leveling. How do you level? You welcome people. Hey, how are you doing? You can do funneling through video messages. Welcome people. Mention two facts in your area, in your product. Make sure to mention two facts. Make sure to ask rhetorical questions. What is a rhetorical question? A question you know the answer up front. So make sure to get a positive answer. If I say to you, oh, it's such a nice weather out there, isn't it? Make sure that it, is a, that it is nice weather out there, right? Rhetorical questions, share belief-based statements, things that are real. Share belief-based statements followed by create an anchor and share a universal story or an experience. And then do stop your audience and make them think. Give them a fact and make them think, make them stop and say, hey, huh, really? Wow, that create these aha moments. And then finally, give something away. You always have to give something away. People appreciate that. When you give something away, there might be the question, hey, what's more for me? What's in it for me? All right, As ask rhetorical questions. Make sure you get a positive answer. What, what do I mean by that? You start your questions with what, why, where, when, who, which, and how. These are the open questions. Open questions will give you so much information. Now increase the pain and the pleasure. Create the problem and offer a solution. Now you can make, an, you can increase the pain or create a problem by making a statement. Most people are prisoners of their own business. They're prisoners. They change. They, they, they have no lifestyle. How would it feel like if I could offer you one, two, three? Make a statement. However, number three, uh, number two, a story. Tell people a story. Tell your story, your own experience. Say, hey. You know what? My story, X, Y, Z, one, two, three. And people will be nailed to the chair and say, wow, 
what an amazing story and this was the problem or this was the pain and now we have that pleasure and that solution and you could do that in that funneling create and acknowledge objections people and especially salespeople they stop selling because there's an objection and they don't know how to handle the objection what you could do is create and acknowledge an objection so the client the customer can't come up with an objection because you already mentioned it and you already cleared it for example people telling you they're busy to call them back no interest they have no time recognize that right the next thing is you will experience the pain of getting a no being rejected not meeting your targets and then the last part is that hey can i have can i have five minutes and then the last part is, hey, can I have five minutes of your time? Five minutes of your time. No, sorry, no time. Absolutely, you're a very busy person. I love to work with very busy person. Um, <clears throat> I knew you were busy. Can I have instead of five minutes, can I have one minute of your time? No, 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 I'm too, too, too busy. I know you're busy. Hey, but I have something very important to share with you. Can I have at least 30 seconds of your time? And I go, yeah, okay, go ahead. If, if they say yes for 30 seconds, you got them for at least 10 minutes. But then you have to break through. And it's that last question, hey, can I have, I have something very important to share with you? So you give them something, however, you'll take it away. And you're gonna, I have something for you. Hey, but can I have at least 30 seconds? And you go, yeah, sure, you got 30 seconds. What are you people working on? Oh, we're working on anything. How about sales? How many salespeople do you have? We got 10 people in sales. That's amazing. Yeah. So what are they struggling with? Well, they're struggling with follow up. Oh, wow. How much money do you lose on a weekly basis through not following up properly? Well, about 3,000 a week. Wow. Multiply it by 10 salespeople. That's 30,000 times 12 months. That is 36, 36, 360,000. That is a lot of money. That's a third of a million. You're losing a lot on a yearly basis. Can I have another five minutes? Can I have your email address? Can I share some information? I know we're running out of time, but hey, can I have your email address? I'll share you some information and within 24 hours, I will be, I'll come back to you. And that's where you get information. You got a name, you got an email, and you put it in the funneling system. Does that make sense? All right. So what if, and that is an amazing question. What if, can I have five minutes of your time? Can I ask you a question? What if? And then you make people dream. That's what network marketing companies do on a daily basis. They make people dream. That is every product will use a certain system to make you dream. They will give you a certain feeling. And it's that feeling that will generate an energy that will make you take action and buy. So what if? Do stop the audience and make them think. Make sure they get aha moment after aha moment after aha moment and say they have to take a decision and they will buy it. Make sure they create the pain and the pleasure, the problem and the solution. Ask and you shall receive. It's not just a quote in the Bible. It's ask and you shall receive is in business. It's the exact same thing. If you don't ask, you'll not receive. Now, what I mean by that is what you're going to ask the questions again, the open questions. What, why, where, when, who, which and how. Now you're going to ask it in a certain way and your answers will create a story with a lot of information. Now the person in that funneling system, you will ask questions. Hey, how would that make you feel if I would create this and this and this for you, right? That story will create a lot of information in the head of the one reading it. Does that make sense? Now you'll be giving an amount of significance to the prospect because you say, hey, you were important to me. If you do that, People get so significant. And significance, by the way, is one of the six basic human needs being recognized. And by asking rhetorical questions, by asking rhetorical questions, the answer to your last question, the call to action will be positive. Now, a quick replay. Make sure you have social media. Make sure you're at least 10, 12 different platforms. Make sure you do emailing. Make sure you have a landing page. Make sure you have a sales page. And there's a lot of professional people out there that can help you with that. Make sure to create the pleasure and the pain. Make sure you create the problem and solution. 
and a call to action. That's the same with the jet propulsion. There's air coming in, it's combusted, there's an explosion, and there's energy. And that is funneling. Now, funneling again, make sure you have a plan. Make sure you have a plan. Make sure you plan your funneling. There's a quote that says, if you fail to plan, you're actually planning to fail. So make sure you have your own plan. This is a plan I created for my company. And then make sure you have a landing page, a website with, with, with somewhere people can click on, a call to action already on your website. If you look to the, the, the most famous speakers on this planet, the top of their website is already a call to action. And from there, you go to an opt-in page, number three, the sales landing page, and number four, people will sign up, they will pay and buy your product, right? Q and A, I don't know if that. Yeah, absolutely. So, okay, three to one. Okay, Rene, I would like to take your time quickly and probably we have some very basic questions like, uh, yeah, some people say like, it's amazing to see the funneling, that funneling can be done without any budget. So that, that was amazing, like <laughs> the way you yes. explained, especially. So tell us a bit more about like how we can maximize this funnel because like, like yeah, million dollar funnel, it's, it's, it's going to need some maximization. So any key points, how we can maximize it? So first of all, where does it start? You have to have email addresses. How do you get to email addresses? You have to have a website, right? That's the first thing when people, hey, what are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm selling um, I'm selling cars. Oh, wow, do you have a website? I'm selling carpets, do you have a website? I'm selling personal development products, do you have a website? So you have to have a website, that's the first thing. From the website, you go down and you have social media. Now, social media today, more than ever, is still for free. And I can only say, hey, use it as, m as much as you can. Social media, make sure to respect the game of the room. You can't put a message as you put them in Facebook and you can't put, you can't put the same message on a LinkedIn. And you can't put the same message on, from a LinkedIn on an Instagram. So make sure to do some research. Hey, what kind of game do they play in a Facebook room, in an Instagram room, in a Twitter room? Make sure to investigate this. And then from there, make sure that your messages are attracting people and they want to know more. You have to make them hungry. And to be frankly honest, I'm still learning myself, right? I'm still, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. Yeah, I'm glad to see that, yeah. <laughs> so to be frankly honest, I'm still learning myself. So uh, make sure you have at least 10 different platforms. I'm on 24, what I mean about that, I'm also on KIK in, 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 in uh, the US, I'm online in Asia, I'm on WeChat in China, I'm on VK in Russia. There's so many different platforms you can work on. Why do I mention all these different platforms? Because I work worldwide, right? I do lectures in, in all kinds of countries uh, all around the planet, but make sure to have your website, make sure you have a call to action on your website, make sure you have your social media, make sure that people can click because today, more than ever, the only thing people do is click, 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 click. And if it doesn't go fast enough, they click away. It takes three seconds for a person to click away. Either they're interested or they're not. And it's there that you have to have a very clear message to the point. And the most important thing is create a feeling. People buy because of a feeling. I had a sales coach in London. I'm not using what she told me, but she said one day, make them cry and they will buy. I'm not using this because this is a bit too much for me. That's a bridge too far. But, <laughs> but it is a fact, if you create a feeling with a person, yeah. they, you'll get their interest. Yeah. And when they're interested, they will click. And yeah. that's where the story of the funneling starts. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. That's the best answer. Like I can understand now that if the more the emotions, you can, you, you can capture those emotions, then the funnel will grow automatically. And that is how like we need to connect with the audience, right? So, and there will be more and more audience if we are able to connect with them. Yeah, please go ahead. Continue. And that's also the, the reason that it's so important to find out who is your ideal customer. Is it a person between 50 and 60, 40 and 50, between 20 and 30? Who is your audience? What are they doing? Are they working on, on a daily basis in an office or the, are they entrepreneurs? Who are they? Know your audience. It's so important to find out who your audience is. 
if, if, if there's a certain result, if you, if you want that kind of outcome or result, right, you have to focus on, hey, who do I attract, right? Um, one of the things I learned from, from during the years is that when I have a meeting, for example, my first question during the meeting is, hey, what is my outcome? And when you know your outcome, the agenda goes very fast. Where we used to have meetings of three, four hours, we now have meetings of 15 minutes. So what's the outcome? Same for funneling. If you know your outcome, the rest is history. Amazing. Yep. Okay. So uh, anything, <laughs> anything beyond that? Um, but yeah, I would say funneling. I mean, I'm, I'm working with Kajabi, but I'm not allowed to say that, I guess. Um, <laughs> okay. So uh, like, can, can we discuss one last thing? Like I had, like how important is, uh, like, uh, the, the, the presentation part. Okay. So you did mention about the website. Okay. So anything you can talk a bit more about the presentation part, like on the website, on the flow, uh, how complex the flow can be, or the process can be at probably depending upon uh, what someone is trying to achieve from that funneling. All right. Um, that's a good question, by the way. Um, so, okay. In 2018, I was backstage. I had a conversation with Ty Lopez. Now, Ty Lopez is a multimillionaire, or not to say billionaire, and he works tremendously with his website. His website is the most important thing on the planet for him because that website is attracting people. And I learned from, from Ty that your landing page is your business card. If your landing page is not good, people click away. So you have to have, first of all, a very clear website where people can scroll and find immediately what they're looking for. Now, the first thing on top is a call to action. A call to action. That means that if I click here, I've got results. I monetize. Also, hey, can I make an appointment? Very quick uh, links where people can click on. Underneath that, you have a video. A video, moving picture, there can be music attached to it. I wouldn't attach too much word to it. Just video, some music. Underneath that, a brief definition of what you do. Underneath that, pictures that prove who you are, what you do, and that you actually do what you say that you do. Mm -hmm. So confirm people like, hey, I've been in that country, that country, I teach this and this and this to that kind of people. I've been speaking on, as for my industry, I mean, uh, mm -hmm. each one has to look into his own industry, but find pictures where you can show people like, hey, we are out there, right? We are well known. People know us. Know know us. Yep. So we are. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> so people know us that they can see we're out there, right? That is also giving you. That is also giving you credibility. If that makes sense. So yeah, make sure the website, the beginning of the website, is your landing page, and is this is your business card, and then the sub pages like an academy or about, make sure, keep it very short and sweet. And pictures and videos, so important. Yeah. And make sure that the, the, the top of each sub page also have that call to action. If you would go to my website, you'll see on the top, but if you click to another sub page on the top, there's still the call to action. So people get influenced subconsciously by seeing it on a constant basis. And it might come a day that will click on it and say, yeah, why not? So that is so important on, on, on your website, on your landing page, in fact. Yep, absolutely. Great. That was some of the best tips that one can use, irrespective of type of businesses they run or whatever sort of vision they have there for their own sales team or, or, or the company or the marketing part, which they want to do. Okay. So now we are done with the questions part, Rene. Uh, thank you for enlightening our audience with your knowledge on Discover Funneling and Million Dollar Results. And a huge thanks to all our audience for joining us today. And I would like Rene to say some final words from your end. I can actually only leave the following message is that if I would ask you to draw the electrical circuit of the building where you are on a, a four piece of paper, would you be able to do that? And 80% of people will answer, not really. And that is in fact the correct answer. But if I would ask you to switch on the light, would you be able to do that? 
and 99.99% of the people said, yes, I can. What I mean about that is that start funneling because funneling is a million dollar tool. And the funny part is it's for free. Absolutely. Right? So I can only say, hey, don't procrastinate, start yesterday. And thank you for having me again. Thank you, Rene. So that was it. And we will see you soon in our next webinar with a new and interesting topic. Till then, have a great time. Bye-bye. Sayonara. Likewise. Thank you.